All right. I live alone, and I'm disabled, and I love good corn, um, tortilla chips and things like that. But it takes me months to go through a bag. And with the food saver, as long as the material is something similar to this, and you've cut a straight line as best you can, you can food saver these bags. And some of the bags will hold a vacuum better than others, but they will all seal. And so we just put the bag in there, and then we um, turn it on, and we're just going to push this down. And then I can decide with the seal button if I'm, if this is a good vacuum bag. It's going to take the air out from this. The system will take the air out, and then it'll seal it. If it's not a good vacuum bag, then I'll just hit the seal button right away because it's never going to evacuate, but it still does keep it fresh. So let's do this. And so when I, when I cut the bag to open it again, I'll cut it right below this seal so that I still have plenty of room. And these bags will stay store fresh for months on end. It's just really amazing. Now the other thing I do is when I buy salsa, I'll cut the label off and tape it to a mason jar. And the standard mason jar, and Food Saver sells two sizes for mason jars, the regular mouth or the wide mouth. And so I will just put on the regular mouth. And then we just put this in here. You can hear it working hard. You can hear it working real hard. And so it's finished. I find it best to take this off first because then this just slides off easily. If, if you don't take this off, there's still a really good seal and it's hard to separate. So this is on there. Um, <laughs> you can see that suction. So once it's done, you just screw your lid on and now your food is gonna save. This salsa, will last me also for months. Um, just store it in the refrigerator when the air is evacuated. So, if you live alone and you don't go through stuff, you can do bags and jars with a food saver.